Welcome to this video. Here right now we can see the SAP Fiori Launchpad. And within this video I would like to show and explain you the huge possibilities to clear the cache in SAP Fiori. Because basically yeah, it sounds simple but it, it's not so simple because in SAP Fiori basically the cache is saved in three different areas. So basically in the client, so in the front end, then in the SAP gateway and then in the back end and I would like to show you for each of those places how you can clear the cache and yeah uh, especially for troubleshooting clearing the cache is one of the most important tasks you should definitely do so enjoy this video and let's get started so let's start with one very important transaction code to clear the front end cache and it's slash uh, n upfront slash i w f n d slash cash underscore clean up and then hit the enter key and with with here you can clean up the front end model cache so basically if you want to you can just select all models and all proxy models then hit the f8 key or uh, this button then uh, all um, the model cache will be cleared or if you want to you can specify one model or you um, can uh, deselect this checkbox to not uh, clean up all proxy models then we move to a very important transaction and it's slash IWBEP slash cash underscore cleanup and once you hit the enter key then basically now you have the ability yeah to uh, clean up the back end model cache in SAP Fiori. Then we move over to the ABA program execution with transaction code SA38. If you have the authorization in general, you can also use the ABA editor, the SE38, or the object navigator with the SE80 to uh, execute programs. And within here, we have this program and once you hit the F8 key on your keyboard or this button, then you can basically execute it. And with this ABAP program, you can clean up the backend context tokens, especially from SAP UI5. And as we saw here, if this report has been run, then in the status bar, you will get a success message. So basically within this report, you can clean up the old data metadata. Then we have this very important program and this is a program that you can use to delete the UI2 cache after uh, you have imported a support package and after executing as we can see right here you can see the number of entries deleted, you can see the number of users selected and the number of clients selected. Then let's continue with this important ABAP program. So within here, you can clear the client cache. And if you want to, you can clear the cache for all SAP users, or if you want to, for one single SAP user. And keep in mind that because of the cage busting um, this program is in most cases not needed and should only be executed in exceptions and also keep in mind that if you would like to clear the cache for other users you need uh, to have one authorization role it's sap underscore ui2 underscore admin underscore 700 but this is also very important so uh, uh, the app index of SAP UI5 offers indexing and caching for data in SAP Fiori apps, components and libraries. And within this program, basically, you have the ability to clean the app index so that the app index will be calculated freshly. And to do this here, you have to click on this top single SAP UI5 repository only. And within here, you can select your application within the SAP UI5 repository and then execute it. And then basically the SAP UI5 application index will be calculated once again.
in some cases it is important to yeah to to invalidate to clear the global cache and to do this you can use this report basically if you execute it then basically you can select between two options between the test mode and between one uh, execution mode and uh, keep in mind that of course first of all you should run the test mode and then if this has been run successfully you can switch to execution mode and yeah basically here you can um, rearrange the target index for all applications for all SAP users so yeah because of that you should be really careful with this report then let's move over to the transaction SMICM. So basically within here you have the ability to, yeah, to open up the ICM monitor. So ICM stands for Internet Communication Manager and basically the Internet Communication Manager saves HTTP or HTTPS objects in the cache. Uh, that is being used in the client and yeah in some case, cases it's important also to clear this cache and you can do this in the menu under go to and then http plugin and then server cache and then down here you have basically two options so if you want to you can invalidate so clear the global cache of the server or you just can clear the local cache and at some points it's important to clear a cache of one single service so to do this you have to open up the transaction slash iwfnd slash main underscore service and then you have basically to select your needed um, servers so for example let's just do it with this and then you click on this techni technical service name and then you select service implementation and then within here with this button clean up cache you can clean up the metadata cache of this single service and if you want to, you can also execute this other program because basically, yeah, uh, this program uh, doesn't give you any return message, but basically within this report, you can synchronize the catalog cache in SAP Fiori and to check if this report uh, runs successfully you have to open up a specific table so you open up the data browser with the transaction code SE60N and then you open up the table UI2 slash UI2 slash chip underscore CHDR and basically within here you can analyze if there are any errors and within user parameters with profile parameters you can also turn of caching in SAP Fiori, so in SAP UI5 in general, for your specific user. So you can open up the transaction code SU3 or choose system and then user profile and then user data and then select the top parameters. And within here, you can basically add two parameters. So the first one is slash UI2 slash cache underscore disable. And the second one is slash UI2 slash page underscore cache underscore off. And then you have to set these two parameters to X. And then you save it with control S and basically with those two parameters, you have turned off yeah, caching for your specific user in SAP UI5. And you can also do it for OData. And to do this, you have to open up the transaction S Pro. Then you click on sub reference. And then within SAP NetWeaver, SAP Gateway, OData Channel and then administration and then cache settings here 
you can open up metadata and then within here you have the ability to activate or deactivate the cache so also you can uh, execute this activity within the implementation guide so and of course the cache is also saved in the browser so you can also um, yeah, delete the cache um, based on your browser you're using or you can use the incognito mode so basically with control alt and n you open up a new mode in incognito here right now in the google chrome browser to also delete the cache so basically i've shown you a couple of steps to delete the cache in sap fury and yeah as i mentioned at the beginning uh, clearing the cache uh, sounds pretty simple but is not uh, that simple so yeah i hope i helped you uh, if you like this video please hit the like button if you have any questions left put them in the comment section and please subscribe this youtube channel to follow great upcoming videos in the future thank you so much and then see you in the next video